Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Ah, Got to have some starter fluid. Hey, I wanted to take a minute. I don't know if she's going to see it or not. Just take a few minutes before I start here. Uh, it's my sister's birthday. Uh, my sister Carrie lives in uh, uh, over in Virginia. Hadn't seen her in a while, but uh, anyway, it's her birthday today. So Carrie, happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. Love you. All right. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I uh, hope and pray you're doing well. Happy Monday. Mm happy monday hey you know what i've decided to go back to the uh the the revised common lectionary um and if you do a sir a web search for revised common lectionary um it'll be the first one up there uh it's from a, a website um uh vanderbilt university uh has the revised common lectionary and there's calendars and i'll put all this on the website uh, on joy, uh, joy, joyrichmond.org. <clears throat> I'll put a section on there about uh, the Revised Common Lectionary to how you can uh, you can go to that website and you can click on the link and you can add the the readings to your calendar on your phone or um, or iPad. Like for instance, I've got here my iPad. I've got the Monday readings right there. I click on it and they're always down there. And I click on it and it takes me to the readings. So anyway. Uh, the reason I'm doing that before uh, Christmas is because they they kind of fall in line with the church calendar and what uh, what our readings at church uh, the Sunday uh, there might be slight differences depending on what the pastor decides to do for the the you know church services and stuff like that uh, but generally they they fall in line with what what the readings are So that's why I'm going to go to that now before Christmas because it'll fall in line with everything, or at least it should. So anyway, you click on that and it takes you to the website and here we go. Uh, and again, it has a Psalm reading, an Old Testament, a New Testament. Sometimes there's a Gospel reading, sometimes there's an extra Psalm, sometimes there's uh, other things. So uh, anyway, um, but it's all good. So here we go. Um, the psalmody this morning is Psalm 125. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. From this time forth and forevermore. For the splendor of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. Uh, the Old Testament reading is, uh, we're in 1 Kings 18, verses 1 through 18. So here we go. Let me get a little coffee here. My throat's a little dry. Oh man, yesterday we had all this rain and stuff coming through and I was feeling horrible yesterday, just headaches and just just not feeling good at all. And I was, you know, my wife was like, "You better not be getting COVID." And I said, "I don't think that's what this is." And uh anyway, so I lounged around and just slept and whatever. And then the wind came through and it blew all that stuff out and my head just cleared right up. It was amazing. It was it was awesome. So I went walking yesterday. And it was like in the mid 50s, but there was like a 25 mile an hour wind with like 35 mile an hour gusts, and it was cold. But I went two and a half miles, so that was good. Felt felt great. Anyway, all right, Kings, First uh, Kings 18 verses 1 through 18. So here we go. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah, in the third year, saying, "Go, show yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth." So Elijah went to show himself to Ahab. Now the famine was severe in Samaria, and Ahab called Obadiah, who was over the, the household. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, and when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water. 
And Ahab said to Obadiah, Go through the land to all the springs of water and to all the valleys. Perhaps we may find grass and save the horses and mules alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself, and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. And as Obadiah was on the way, behold, Elijah met him. And Obadiah recognized him and fell on his face and said, Is it you, my lord Elijah? And he answered him, It is I. Go, tell your lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And he said, How have I sinned that you would give your servant into the hand of Ahab to kill me? As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom where my Lord has not sent to seek you. And when they would say, He is not here, he would take an oath of the kingdom or nation that they had not found you. And now you say, Go tell your Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. As soon as I have gone gone from you, the Spirit of the Lord will carry you, I know not where. And so, when I come, come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I, your servant, have feared the Lord uh, from my youth. Has it not been told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord, how I hid a hundred men of the Lord's prophets by fifties in a cave and fed them with bread and water? And now you say, Go, tell your Lord, Behold, Elijah is here, and, and he will kill me. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts lives, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. When Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, Is it you, you troubler of Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have, and your father's house, because you have abandoned the commandments of the Lord and followed the Baals. All right, on to the New, uh, the new Testament. Uh, throat's a little dry this morning. Oh. All right. Um, the New Testament this morning is, oh, love this one. It's Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And this is the word of the Lord. Oh, like I said, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day today. Um, uh, where is it? I was going to offer a prayer. That doesn't have a prayer, but uh, there was one on here that I wanted to read. Oh, here we go. All right. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, for, uh, the name of this prayer is uh, Protection During the Day. And with everything going on, you know, COVID and all that good stuff, I thought I'd uh, uh, offer this one up this morning. So let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings be ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Again, 
I'll put the link up on the website. Uh, I'll even put I'll put it up on the Facebook page as well. Uh, but it's a link that you can click on, and it'll it'll it can add the uh, the readings every day. It can add it to your calendar uh, in your in your. I, I'm assuming Android works the same way, but I know it works on a, on an iPhone. Um, so uh, and that way, if you wanted to follow along, some people do like to follow along. So. Uh, if you wanted to get a head start on it or, or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to sign out. i got one more week, and then I've got two weeks off. Uh, I work for the school district, so yeah. So anyway, y'all have a great day, and uh, stay warm and all that good stuff. And uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. Bye-bye. God bless.